Hi, this is Andrew with Belgium Steel USA. Today we're going to talk about a brand new Blitz bike. Um, got this thing in literally yesterday. I put it together real quick to make sure that uh, everything's functioning great for you guys as well. This thing is pretty darn beefy uh, and I really, really like it. I'm, I'm not much of a cardio guy as you can tell. Uh, but compared to other assault bikes or different bikes that I've used in the past, uh, this thing is really, really sturdy and it's pretty well put together already for you so you don't have to waste a ton of time and energy putting it together. Uh, it's got a nice heads up display. Uh, the seat's pretty darn comfortable. Uh, this thing is not uh, chain driven anymore. It's belt driven. So it's a little bit smoother uh, than a lot of other models and it makes a lot less noise than a lot of other models. This thing's definitely not a cruiser bike. You've got to put the work into it and it'll put the work back. Uh, that was kind of my biggest thing I noticed right off hand was I really had to work further on this bike. Uh, some other bikes that I've used, you can just kind of pedal along nice and easy breezy, not get your heart rate up and it's, it's cool. But this one, you've really got to push and work. Uh, it is a true woods bike. Uh, this, thing, this thing is intense, but I really, really like it. All right, so we're gonna go over the different intervals and different options you have on the display screen. Um, the big heads up display is going to show um, time, your distance, how far you went, calories, how many calories burned, and now the bottom has some different cool functions it is watts, which has to do with power output, speed, and then your overall RPM, so revolutions per minute, the 10 to 20 interval, so 10 seconds on, 20 seconds off, what you'll do is you'll just press it, and it'll count down the seconds, and it'll tell you when to rest. At any point, if you want to stop that, there's a stop button on the bottom left. It's a big green button. Um, then you have your 20 to 10 interval. And then you have your next button is your custom interval. So if you want to go 40 seconds on and 30 seconds off, you can, you can do the different options at the bottom and then press enter and it'll give you different options for on and off time. Um, next one is target time. So just go for 10 minutes or five minutes. You can. You can change all that and then you can go for a target distance if you want. You just put in your target distance and then just press enter and it'll start it for you. Same thing with target calories. You can change this at any time. It's a really quick change display. I can go up in calories if I want, press enter and it starts automatically. Your next one is target heart rate. This is compatible with heart rate monitors. So if you have your heart rate monitor, you can hook that up, put in a target heart rate. Don't do 30 beats per minute because I'm not sure you're alive at 30 beats per minute, but you can crank that up to however high you want, press enter. One of the big things that I wanted to highlight was the seat. Um, it adjusts different than the other one. Uh, one thing is the seat itself is a little bit smaller. Our last, our last blitz bike, the seat was really big. Um, this one's kind of an in-between, so me as a bigger guy, I still didn't mind how the seat was. Some of them get really, really small. This one's kind of an in-between and I still liked it. It was comfortable for me. Um, I'm not riding for hours, so I liked it for the time I used it. This back thing here uh, will flip up and down and then you can move the seat forward or backwards depending on how far away you want to be away from the handles. Um, and then you can just center it and snap it back down. This part right here is pretty standard amongst every other bike. You're going to loosen it. And all you got to do is pull. It's going to slide up or slide down into your different positions that you want to move. Um, kind of the best thing I found with moving it is you have to pull the seat forward just a little bit for it to move really easy. If you push it back, it'll hit against that pin and it won't slide. So move it forward and you can pull up and down. And once you got it, you can tighten it down really tight. And now this thing's not going anywhere. I'm Kayvon, founder of Bells of Steel. I hope you love that video. Make sure to like and subscribe and click one of these to check out our products and see other great videos that we've made for you. Thanks again.